lock it in. Man, is it a powerful, beautiful thing that sports can provide. We try to tell you Penix's story, you know, all the injuries, all, all the lonely months, the, the rehab, the doubting about you're ever going to get a chance, and then to come for, to Washington and get a rebirth and be able to have a moment like this as the rain is falling in Seattle. Well, that's college football right there. You know, that, to, to see Michael Penix, the emotion, how much this means to these players and, and, and a rivalry game. And, and then look out at that scene. I mean, look, look at this. This, this. You don't get this. I, I do Thursday night NFL football, and I love it. But you do not get this unless it's a Saturday at college football. Look at this, man. And Michael Penix, good for you, battling through so much adversity. To have this moment for your team, being that leader, tremendous. I agree. I haven't seen him on Monday either. There's nothing <laughs> like the sport of college football. One of the great rivalries. Not enough attention paid to it around the country. If you're from the West Coast, you know how precious this is for the guys in purple. May have to do it again in Vegas in the Pac-12 Championship game. USC will have something to say about that. And the Huskies will visit the Coliseum in three weeks. They got Arizona State here at Stanford, heavily favored in both those games. And then a Penix Caleb Williams showdown in Los Angeles. Trojans got to go to Eugene. Ducks very much alive, but this is a wonderful showcase for the Pac-12 this year. No doubt about it. And this is a, as you just went through there, Chris, it, it's a gauntlet. It, it still it requires staying power. We're going to be along for the ride all the way through. It's going to be fun to see where we are by the time we get to December. Bo Nix was brilliant himself with this quarterback duel, eventually won by Michael Penix Jr. An emotional afternoon in Seattle and a classic, and the Huskies prevail 36 to 33. What a treat being here, a little bittersweet as they head off to the Big Ten. But we enjoyed every second of it. Bill Bennell produced the game. Jimmy Platt directed it. Thanks to our entire crew here for Ali and Kirk. Chris Fowler saying so long. Let's go to Kevin Nagandi in our studio. Chris, thank you so much. Look at that scene in Seattle. Just absolutely love it. As the guys talked about that, you don't get that any other day of the week. You get it on Saturday. Michael Penix Jr. celebrating. This team has won 13 straight games. They remain undefeated here. And Let's go back because there are some questionable fourth down decisions and then fourth down play calls. What did you see, Dan, specifically on that Oregon fourth down decision instead of punting? Yeah, I didn't mind that decision when, when it comes to being aggressive in the moment, knowing what the clock was. You've gone three or four times if you're Oregon to that quote-unquote sprint out where they had boot or moved Bo Nix to his right. That time they do it to left, I thought that was a little bit predictable as far as what we were going to go to. I think this, guys, these are two of the best college football teams in the country. Yeah. And, you know, like, I don't think any differently of either of these teams. Oregon was absolutely fantastic. Washington just made that one play between Michael Penix Jr. and Romo Dunze at the end of the game to win it. And I just, well, for me, he's the first guy to plant that flag of Heisman moment type of feel. Penix Jr., that right? That game-winning touchdown He pass. is right now the odds-on favorite as well. But you, you wanted them to punt Oregon. Well, I, I do because as a defensive guy, I wanted to give my team.